This sports desk has a lot in store for you today, so sit back and let's begin. On the diamond, who's the ace on the mound for the El Camino Warriors as they blast through Pasadena City College? And the El Camino softball team reaches deep to try and win one against Long Beach City College. Plus, it's a family affair at the South Bay Tennis Center with a nationally ranked 12-year-old. And the South Bay Special Olympics showcase some of the best athletes that show more than just heart. The World Cup is around the corner, so get your futsal feet tuned up at the South Coast Soccer City. Sports athletes and fans, you know this is the only place to see your face on TV, so it's time to get fired up because the sports desk starts right now. Hello and welcome to the Sports Desk. I'm your host, Bonnie Frickett. We've got kind of a sports potpourri for you today, so let's start with some baseball. Last time we checked out El Camino Baseball, they were in a tight race for lead in the South Coast Conference. Well, now they lead in nearly every statistical category and stand atop the conference. Pitcher Kyle Petter is leading his team to what's sure to be a bright postseason, and Sports Desk reporter Brendan Ortega gives us the fast look at the great highlights in the game against Pasadena City College. Warriors ace Kyle Petter took the mound with a perfect 7-0 record so far this season. Petter got into a groove early as he strikes out Jose Cerna swinging to keep PCC scoreless through the first inning. Second inning now with two men on base, Garrett Cooper lines a shot into center and that drives in Petter, bringing in the first run of the game now 1-0 for El Camino in the second inning. Petter now with a two-run lead gets Damian Santamaria staring down the pitch as the Warriors cruise into the fourth inning. Garrett Cooper comes up again with another nice hit as Josh Thompson scores easily from third and Aaron DeGuire moves into third. The Warriors would tally up three runs in the inning and that gives the Warriors now a 5-0 lead and as you can see the crowd loves it, especially their scorekeeper who is very, very pleased. El Camino takes care of PCC by the final score of 9-1 led by Kyle Petter's 11 strikeouts and eight innings of work. The Warriors now improved to eight and four in conference play and are in a good position to win their first conference title in three seasons. First, they must finish their conference schedule strong before sealing the deal in the South Coast Conference tourney, which comes up in a few weeks. Reporting for the Sports Desk, I'm Brandon Ortega. The ball club had a total of 12 hits for the nine to one win against Pasadena City. And Kyle and Petter improves to 5-0 for the season. And the whole team just keeps keeping it. And that same week, they capped another big win over Pasadena, bringing them to a 20-8 overall record. Long Beach City is the next at bat for the Warriors. The El Camino softball team has had an uphill battle with a lineup that's full of injuries. With a less than stellar record, they just try to get a learning experience out of each game. Alyssa Stout was on the mound for the Lady Warriors. She did her best to try to get him a win. Kevin Figures was out and about and brings us the game against Long Beach City College. The El Camino Warriors entered their matchup against Long Beach City College looking to break a five-game losing streak and notch just their second conference win of the season. However, the game did not start as well as the Warriors would have hoped as Desiree Villegas scores the first run of the game after Katrina Vate knocks her home with an RBI ground out, giving Long Beach a one to nothing lead in the top of the first. The Warriors would answer in the bottom of the first after back-to-back -back walks by Natasha Milosevic and Jennifer Hernandez. Starting pitcher Alyssa Stout helps her own calls by knocking this single up the middle, scoring Milosevic from second and tying the game at one. Stout runs into trouble in the top of the second inning as after giving up a single and a walk, she throws a pitch in the dirt that gets away from the catcher and allows the runners to move up to second and third. She is able to get out of the inning unscathed after Brittany Holden grounds out to third base to end the second inning scoring threat. The Warriors' offense was unable to get anything going against Long Beach's Haley Hepp as she shut down El Camino in order in the third inning, getting Jules Kronberger to ground out to first base to record out number three. Stout pitches herself into a jam in the top of the fourth inning after this single by Magella Frio loads the bases for the Vikings with no outs. However, Stout is able to minimize the damage, giving up just one run on this RBI ground out, which will give the Vikings a 2-1 lead heading to the bottom of the fourth inning. But things would start to go south for the Warriors in the fifth inning as Jules Kronberger is unable to make this catch in right field, allowing the Long Beach State runner to get to second base safely on an error. 
That error would come back and cost El Camino as Michelle Contreras rockets this double into right center field, scoring the runner from second base and giving the Vikings a 3-1 lead. Warriors head coach Susie Calderon says that errors in the field have been her team's Achilles heel all season long. You can't compete with teams when you continue to make errors, and, and, and I understand those are going to happen, but we have a lot of mental breakdowns too as well, and, and you just can't have them at this level. You just can't. After the Vikings will score one more run to take a 4-1 to one lead, the Warriors offense found some life in the bottom of the fifth inning after back-to-back -back singles by Natasha Milosevic and Stephanie Hall put runners on first and second, giving El Camino their first true scoring threat since the first inning. But Alyssa Stout is unable to add to her RBI total here as she pops out to the shortstop to end the inning, and the Warriors would go on to lose this one by the score of 5-1. to one. Stout would pitch the entire game, giving up five runs on 11 hits to go along with three strikeouts. Coach Cotteron says she has been proud of her starting pitcher's effort all season long. I'm telling you, Alyssa Stout has just really, really carried this team and has done an outstanding job for us, so we're, um, I'm, I'm very proud of her. After a season filled with injuries, issues with the playing field, and disappointing play on the field, Coach Cotteron says that all she and her team can do is play the hand that they're dealt and try to stay positive. For the Sports Desk, I'm Kevin Figures. Thanks out to Kevin Figures for the coverage. Even with five hits, El Camino's record fell to 1-12 and in the South Coast Conference. Lady Warriors got their only run of the game from starting pitcher Alyssa Stout. And they have a few more chances of winning with three more games left on the schedule. Coming up next, lots of good stuff. Futsal, you ever hear of it? It's a way to train at soccer if you want to get better, and Torrance has just the place. And there's a budding tennis superstar training right here at a City of Torrance facility. Watch and learn. 